mistake. I just wanted to see how it gets on today, how we learn from it. And, and when we do this again, which we will do, and over the next few months, you'll find it be publicized a lot more and more people will know about it and join in. But today it's about seeing how we can do it right. You're, you've obviously prepared, but there's a few things we've, we've got to get right in the recording and publicity, and we will do that. But today it's about enjoying it, okay? We're going to enjoy how to do it. And because Joe's sorting out the recording, even if those who can't join us today, it's, it's, it's the Saturday before Christmas. It's not the best. Hold it. I hope. Joe, is that right? We'll be able to share it with people afterwards. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, that, it might not it might not record properly or it might be a bit... We're going to find out, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to find out. Uh, if, it, if it records well, then we can edit it down and make it look pretty decent. Because all I've got to say is it's the superstar cooks of today are Bodler and Ola. It's the starting point of our first project together uh, to see if we can get more people involved in doing stuff. And I know that over the next few weeks and months, that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to leave it over to Ola and Bola now. You can decide how to do it. Um, I think Bola's on mute. Ola's not on mute. Um, Good afternoon, everybody. So it should be recorded, I hope. Yes. I want, this is my chicken. Okay. We need to marinate it before we do anything. We need to marinate it. We need to season it and leave it to marinate. The seasoning to go inside for like 10, 15 minutes while we we'll do other things. Your Maggie. This is my, 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 my curry. Okay. Depending on the, the number of people you're cooking for, I'm okay. cooking for four people. So I just need a, a teaspoon, one teaspoon of my seasoning curry, one teaspoon of my thyme powder, yeah, my yeah, thyme. Yeah. One glove of garlic. Yeah. I have my chicken seasoning powder here. I use this, or I can, if you have a cube powder, a cube seasoning, you can also use it. One cube is, is fine for four people. So just use one cube because I know you are the only one. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's all right, yeah, yeah. I've got spices and stuff. You can put any spice you want in your chicken, depending on what you like. All right. We don't have um, restriction on that. So you grate your, your garlic. Yeah, it's fine. Even if it is garlic powder you have, you can go ahead and use it. Oh yeah, got garlic powder. Yeah. Oh, what, what, what you out. Of Tell us what spices are the same in England and what are different. What's the, you know, I'm not quite sure what spices they have in Africa. I've never visited Africa. So okay, what spices? We, we we are not we don't eat too much spice in Africa. Okay. But we have our look when we cook our local food, we have the spices for that. But okay. this is a general food for everybody. You know in Nigeria we have over two hundred um dialects. Yeah. So everybody has their food. Their food food. So this is a general food for everybody in Nigeria and in Africa. Okay. So I'm using this is a common um seasoning powder in Nigeria, we call it um yes lion curry powder yeah it has this strong flavor so i like using it in my jello fries because it takes me back home then you grate your your ginger you add some ginger if you have guy a uh, quadri one it's fine it makes the work more easier and faster so i'll just Yeah. Where do you get your lion curry powder? Ola, that's Ola. Oh, sorry, Ola. Yeah. Yeah, Margaret. Yes. Yeah. Your curry. Oh, I got it in um. I got it in a store in Manchester. All right. Yeah, but if you go to the Asian shop or African shop, you get it. Thank you. Yeah. It gives you this African smell. And this smell, the jollof rice will come out it. So I've marinated my, my, my chicken. 
I'm, I've, I've seasoned my chicken. I want to leave it to marinate. Why we'll do the preparation for the 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 pepper, the sauce? So. So I have this red pepper. Tom, you are not supposed to cook now. Just leave it and cover it. Joe, uh, Joe, Joe. Yeah. Let it sit. Let's put it, put the chicken aside. Yes, so, yes, yes. So Sorry. just put okay, it I'm on. I'm on cap shop actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So yes, we're going to blend this with our rare, uh, our Scotch bonnet. I have this. I don't. It's not supposed to be spicy. Yeah. Don't eat spice seafood. So I have like a quarter of half of my Scotch bonnet and my um, red pepper. And I'm going to be using yeah. a, a chopped tomatoes. I'm going to blend everything together with some ginger and garlic. Then we'll boil. Don't forget to peel your ginger. Your ginger. We don't need the yellow the, the body. We don't need it. One or two cubes. One or two cloves of garlic will be okay. Then you boil. You. Put it in your blender. Hot and blend. Don't forget to add your onion. Some people don't like to see onion in their food, so it's better you blend everything together. I have a son that doesn't like to see onion and he loves to eat onion. So what I do is I blend everything together so that he can eat. in our bell pepper so everything goes in add your tomato fresh or can it's fine i'm using a chopped tomato try not to add too much water because we are still going to cook to dry so it's better we don't have too much water to save our time i'm going to blend it so it's onions i'm sitting here but i will cut onions afterwards so i'm watching you cutting onions is it just onions are you cutting shallots or garlic or what uh just onions for me spanish onions as well so well, crazy Joe, eyes out that's why we don't see his face you need to blend the onion and the and the scotch bonnet and the red pepper together yeah we okay. are, i'm doing that now okay okay i'm catching i'm playing catch up <laughs> <You, you, laughs> you're quicker than me i'm not i'm not a, a, no. I'm not a seasoned cook no. When you are doing a great job, I like your spirits. Ola, I've never used Scotch bonnet peppers, so I'm slightly sort of wary about how strong they are. Very okay, you, 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 have you used chili pepper? Yes. You can use chili pepper. Okay, thank you. <laughs> because Scotch bonnet has this um, smell, this taste, this aroma. Yeah, and it's spicy. So even me, I don't eat anything peppery. One scotch bonnet, I can use it to prepare meal for like six people two times. Right, uh, right, okay. So that's that's as, as, just because I wanted that smell, that taste. Yes. yes. So thank you. Yes. So while the, the Abola, what do yeah, we put, what do we put in the um, 
Um, with the with the onions and the and the and the and the uh, Scott Bolly and the uh, pepper. What else in there? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yes. Well, that's in the pan. Don't add the fresh one. If you have a canned one, go ahead and use it. Okay. Are you cooking? Yes, so I'm cooking now. <laughs> so why are you have you blended your pepper? No, I've got the blended one already. Okay, good. Why that okay? Have you have you boiled it already? Yeah, everything is okay. While we are waiting for Joe and myself, because I want to do my I did my own from scratch so that we can learn. Let's start yeah. the fried rice because we don't have to okay. I'll put that. Yes. Go get your green pepper. Your green chili pepper. Yeah. Margaret, have you seen chili pepper before? Have you used it before? The, the fresh ones. I have this too. Yes, I've used the fresh ones. It's just the scotch bonnets. Okay, I if you don't been... even get the scotch bonnet, bonnet, you can get chili pepper, but the red one. Yeah. But just use one and try it. Right. So for the fried rice, I have my chili pepper and my, my uh, bell pepper. I'm going to slice it with, I have, I'm using a whole onion, but I like to cut my onion in a ring form like this. It's bring, it brings one beauty in the, in your cooking. So I'm going to use one, I cut half of the onion ring, the other one, I'm going to blend everything together. So right. This, you add your ginger and your garlic to it. Most people don't blend this. They just cut it. But when you blend it, it goes in, it cooks with it. Then you see the beauty, the, you see the greenish, golden, greenish color of your rice while you're cooking. So that's why mm -hmm. I like to blend it. You get it, the, the taste, the flavor immediately when you, when you, as you go on. So that's why I like to blend mine. So the, the green pepper now we want to blend and the onion. Then you put from your um, spring onion, you put yeah. little of your spring onion, you blend it together. But you want everything to go inside. Joe, don't worry. We are still together. Because I can see you are still ready. Nadine joining us now. Thanks, Nadine. My blender's began packed in. It's not working. I know. <laughs> Have you blended it? Oh, should we blend it now? Yeah. It's, okay. I'm talking to Joe. Okay. No, we can blend it now, sister. But like, blend, blend. I'm blending now, too. For the okay. fried rice, you can blend. Okay. Should we make it very smooth? Very yeah, to John, isn't it? He's I'm making making computer, but I'm very we'll smooth. afterwards, so I'm following it. Uh, yeah, I've just got something going on in the background, but I'm really interested in watching a lot do the cooking. Yeah. Hi, Joe. Joe. Yeah. So, I, what are you doing? Have you blended your pe your scotch bonnet? Yeah. And it, and is that you put it on the on the stove? Yeah. It's cooking. Yeah. So where is your green pepper? Green pepper. Okay. The green bell pepper. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Your onion, onion, yeah. Your ginger. Everything goes to the blender again. Okay. While the pepper and for the jollof rice is boiling, we want to go ahead and do our fried rice. Okay. We don't want to do time. I'm trying to remember all this, but it's good. <laughs> you can't remember. I, not... I don't like chili peppers. They're too hot for me normally. I, I like the ordinary peppers. The chili peppers. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> too much mm. pepper. You haven't lived in Africa. I know. That's what she was saying, Susan. Yeah. Sorry, please. This is our green pepper. Green chili pepper. Yeah. Bell pepper. Yeah. Onion. Yeah. Garlic. 
and ginger and some spring onion. Why did, why did I normally, in those days, our mom don't blend it, but these days we do the blending so that it will go in as it's cooking. It's going inside the rice. You don't, you can eat it immediately. In those days, after cooking, you can still leave it for like a few days. And why did, why did we do this? It will help your rice to last for days. If you just stop it because you go to stir fry um, other ingredients, if you if you don't if it's not well cooked, you know it gets spoiled easily. But this will make it to stay more longer. That's why I we I blend these days. So you put it on the stove and wash your rice. Should I put my rice now? Yes, wash your rice. Let it come to a boil a little. Just let it. Put it on the stove. I'm waiting. Let's wait for Joy to eat. Depending on the rice you are using, we use normally for this rice, for this rice, um, this re the recipe, we will, it's good to use like long grain rice. Okay, long grain. Yeah. Long grain is better. So that it comes out beautifully well and it doesn't squash together. So, it is like flour. Even if you don't have a long grain, no problem. But you know, we have different types of rice. It depends on how you now cook it to get a good result. So I am using a long grain rice. Normally, as I'm using this long grain rice, I will parboil it to reduce the starch and to make it cook faster. I'll parboil it. So Joe. So, have you blended the green pepper? Yeah. Good. Thank you. So put the pepper in the pot and on it. I don't know all about that. Is rice grown? In... Huh? Yeah, is rice is grown or not grown? In which country? I don't know which countries in Africa rice is grown. So I don't know if you have to import it or it's grown locally. Yeah, it's, in, it's imported. It's imported, yeah. Okay. But there are some places also that they grow rice. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, there are some places that the uh, rice is being grown in Africa too. We've got our own um, natural rice where it's being grown. I think it should be in Northern side. Sister Ladune, I think I'm correct. What, what countries? I, do, I mean, I, I lived in Africa for about 12 years, but I never saw rice growing anywhere. Oh, we've got, in Nigeria, there are some parts of Africa. Oh, okay, yeah. Rice. Yeah. So the rice now goes, you drain the water, it goes into the red pepper and let it start boiling. That's fantastic, good. So are you from Nigeria, Bola? Yes, please. Can see the green beautiful. Yeah, I've been color. to Nigeria. Because our rice differs, I will encourage us not to put water now. Let it start cooking so that it doesn't get soggy. You don't cook, you don't have too much water. This rice recipe does not need much water. Your rice needs to come out to be the you could see the grain. You could count the grain at the end of the day when you finish cooking. So you can have your your no. Have, I have this, I have two cubes here. I'm going to add one. I'm adding one here. You can season it, but don't over season it, please, because we are still going to season um, our green veg. What was that cube? It's called no cube. No. 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 Yeah, you should have yes. it. You know it. You know it. Yes. Yes. The Asians, they are, our cooking is, what we use is like very similar, but different ways we cook it. While the, the rice is on, on the stove, we want to season our green, green veg. I think next time I'll watch this on a laptop. It's made me learn because I'm stuck here by my desk. I can't. 
I have my sweet corn. Oh, sweet corn, good. Sweet corn. Everything goes together. My, my, um, my green peas and this, you, what's this, thing? what's this called? Um, green beans, green peas, yes. You add it together. Then you season. Use the many cube. Sometimes I like to do this overnight. Okay. By the time you do it overnight, it will have, it will have marinated. Even when you, when you put it in your, when you eat it, you will feel what you are eating. Then your carrot, you had your carrot. Let me read my carrot. Very, very important. Don't forget your carrots. I have my carrots here already. When I'm cooking my fried rice, I don't like using the mixed veg. You know why? That is the shape everything needs to come out with. They need to be square. Your fried rice, all this, your vegetable needs to be in square or ring size. Well, if you look at our, our mixed veg, the green, the green piece, this is too long. And the carrot shape is not, it's too long. So sometimes when I'm using it, I recut it. So we mix everything together, add your curry, your thyme, any seasoning of your choice that you want. Mostly in my country, we only use curry and maggi for this. Curry, maggi, and thyme, ginger. Because we don't want it to be too um, seasoned. If you are not a vegetarian, you can also, you can, it's good for vegetarians, but if you are not a vegetarian, you can add your, add your liver, you can add liver, you can add shrimps, you can add anything. The more things you add, the richer it is. my pot it's still cooking with the, the one very large pan as well that's yeah because at the end of the day it's going to be much because of the yeah. green veg you got the biggest pan possible so while this is cooking this is cooking get a new pan screen's behind me so I can't quite see what what's going on I'm listening oh. it's an awful shame that zoom doesn't have a smell facility because I'm sure the smell must be amazing <laughs> yeah, by now. yeah amazing it is we can work on that right. we can work <laughs> on that Joe yeah amazing. scratch and sniff yeah that's your job scratch and sniff we can now put our chicken. Let's put our chicken on the stove to cook. Add little, like a cup of water. Add, because we need the stock. Check okay. your rice and add water accordingly. Yeah. You don't want a soggy rice. You want an half done rice. Okay. Yes. An half done rice. Okay. Add water to your chicken and let it start cooking. What do we do with my green peas and beans? Huh? What do we do with my green peas and beans? I'm 
me again, please. What do we do? Huh? What do we do with these? Yes. Okay, yes, it's okay. Then yeah, where's your 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 sweet corn? Okay. Add your sweet corn. Your, your green peas. Your green beans, sorry. That's a green peas. Is it on a low cook? Is it on a low heat or a high one? The rice, you start with a high heat. Yeah. When you check your water the first time, put it on a medium heat. Okay. And let your chicken start boiling. If you check your your, your sauce, the sauce for the jollof rice, you can see it's coming up. So we need to start preparing for our jollof rice now. How's it getting, Joe? Are you getting there? Are you catching up? I, I think so. <laughs> it's um, it's not you. It's not the usual uh, dish I, I make, but yeah. <laughs> no, well, the uh, it's so it's not bean on toast. You normally have that on a Saturday, do you? Beans. No. Yeah. You need to season your green veg and put it aside. Steam it. Season it. Season it. Season it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All the green veg. Add them together. Season it and put it aside. Okay. Yeah. Then you go check your your red pepper, and don't forget the rice. No, uh, the rice is doing all right. The red pepper okay. is is is. is. We want the rice to be half done, not fully done, because we are going oh, to. Oh right, okay. So. Yeah, I think it's half done. Okay, and no water in it, please. It must be dry. The water must be dry. No water on the, your rice. What about your red pepper? Is it ready? Uh, not quite. It's coming. Has it reduced? It's coming. It's the onions a bit. Yeah. Look I can, at my. I can smell it. Now. I'm starting to. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, my. It's 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 done like a paste. It has cooked. It has reduced to a paste. So it's time for me to start my jollof rice. The pepper, the scotch bonnet now is well cooked, so it's not going to be spicy. But you can feel the, you can smell the aroma. Everywhere. Yeah, oh yeah. Yes, you can. It's lovely. I'm, I'm just opening the window a bit. That's one of the things we are looking for. So, transfer a new pot. Remove your, your, transfer a new pot. We want to start preparing our rice, our jollof rice now. Okay. While the chicken is still cooking. Right, we've got rice, we've got chicken. Yeah. We've got peppers, yeah. Um, and then we're going to do as, uh, as, as, as beans, yeah? Yeah, where, where is your sweet corn? Sorry? Your sweet corn. Oh, I didn't get in there. I, don't, I can't eat sweet corn, really. Don't, don't really. Come, is don't. it the only green bread you have? Uh, no, you don't have the carrot. You don't have carrots. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need to have. Look at mine. Look at how beautiful oh, it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Carrots, green peas, green. Yeah, sure. Green peas. Yeah, I've got green peas, green beans. Yeah, uh, add everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cut your carrots. Cut yeah, it. Yeah. Make it square. Yeah, not square it. it yeah. Square. Cube it. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Cut it. Long ways. Good. Like that, yeah. And then now cut it again. Yeah. Cut that one in your hand again. Yeah. And now cut it. Now, yes. Oh, now. brilliant. Yeah. Like that. Yes. That's cool. the square we wanted. All right. Yeah. You can see that the same shape is the same as um, your, um, yeah. your green piece. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I have my green piece. Green beans, um, uh, sweet corn, and carrots in here. Yeah. 
this is what you must have to, to it's a must to have this to cook your jollof rice that's why i said you can buy the green veg you know everything is being combined but we just need to recut it right yeah yeah, yeah yeah well i didn't did that have the no stock in it for the seasoning yes i seasoned it with no no seasoning you can use any seasoning you like I, you can use any one you like but i use no to season this for the jollof rice i'm using jumbo I'm gonna be. I'm, I use jumbo for my jello fries to be to my jello fries. Ah, yeah. But I want it to have two. When you eat, you want to eat small, and you can use two, three seasoning cubes like that, so that even people will not be able to say you use Maggie, you use this. They will do. They will be like this. I've not used that stuff no stock before. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So should we season our veg now? No, don't, don't put your veg. Don't put in your veg. You are not putting your veg inside, please. Let's go back to our jollof rice. Your chicken. I want I want to walk. No, just to go to. Don't need to walk. I don't want to wash him rather. My chicken is ready. I want to fry my own chicken. I would love to fry it. So I'm going to be frying my chicken. The oil I'm using to fry my chicken is what I want to use to cook everything. But because the fried rice is the vegetarian rice, I will not use same oil because it has chicken stock. But the, for the chicken, for the jollof rice, I'm going to use using the oil. And I may not use it if I like. As I've cooked, I may not even fry if I like. I, I'll pop mine in the oven and it's golden brown. It's ready. So it's an option. I am not going to fry mine. I'm going to pop it in the oven because I don't really like eating fried things. Make sure your water is dry in your fried rice. Yeah. My, yeah. Yeah. You can see how green my is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can see yeah. everything has incorporated in it. Yeah. 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 I'm not added salt because I'm because I've already seasoned my green veg, so I need to control my salt. So I want to pop my chicken in the oven now. This vegetable but it needs to get cooking now with this veg, don't I? Huh? Goes in the pot with the chicken. The veg. No, 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 no. You can pop your chicken in the oven if you want. If you want to fry, you can go ahead and fry now. What do they do with the veg? Just season your veg and put it aside. Season it with your curry thyme and um Yeah. Your maggi. Put it your seasoning. Okay, put it aside. Do, do we not do we not eat it raw though, do we? Do we eat it cooked? No, don't worry, we're gonna cook it, don't worry. Okay. I'm going to try cook it. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you are not gonna eat it like that, no. So I need to sprinkle some oil, brush my chicken with some oil. But I want that golden brown color. I want so. Back to the jollof rice now. Add your oil. I am cooking for four people, so I'm using like two teaspoon, two serving spoon. Okay. Please two, two serving spoon. Um, um, Joe, you can use like one. Okay. So. You add your tomato paste. Your tomato paste. This is what I'm using. You add it into it and fry. It. So like two, three minutes. What, what's the temperature of the oven? What oh, I'm using 
a medium is medium. But medium. if you have preheated your oven before, you can just put it in a low heat so that it will cook. It will cook very well. About 180, now that you say. Mine doesn't have a number, it does have middle, eye, and all a... right, medium. Thank you. So, your rice for fried rice, don't forget to cover it, let it steam. So, can I continue now? Yeah, <laughs> yes. because this is disturbing me. I can't hear you. Your tomatoes, your the tomato paste, put you need to fry it for like two minutes. You fry, 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 fry. As you're frying, you see that your oil is changing. You're going to be reddish, which is fine. That's what we are looking for. Then your tomato, add your boiled tomato. You can see it's reduced already. We need to add it in the pot. the pot alone. Don't, don't, throw, don't pour water on it yet. But you're still going to need it. We don't waste anything in Africa. So. Allow it to fry. Add your seasoning now. My thyme, my curry. Yeah. Don't forget we we blended the the, um, the 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 pepper with more uh, seasoning too. Then I want to have this my jumbo. Don't forget to add your bay leaf now to your rice, to your sauce for the jollof rice. Add your bay leaf. Rob, will we get a list of the ingredients? Yes, we have it on Facebook and we have it. I can email it to you. Tom can email it to you or I can email it to you. He sent it in the email to you. I have it and I and have on the all Facebook the procedure. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for adding. I to fry, fry. Why I didn't add much oil is that we are still going to add our butter so that it doesn't it, so that it doesn't stick together. All this makes your food to last long. You can leave it in your fridge for one week. I still have the love fries that I made for like since um, Monday, still in my fridge, very fresh. Some people even make it for one month. If they have oven, um, it's freezer, they stock it to their freezer because they are busy. When in the night they bring it out, in the morning they pack it and go to work. So you check your Joe. Where are we? I've no idea. I've, I've lost. I've lost. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> I'm here with you. So... Uh, I've got. I've got uh, the paste. The, the rice is ready. The chicken is is cooked. Cook it. Cooked. Um, and the and the and the and the. Oh. The uh, Scotch bonnet is cooked. <laughs> okay, okay. Your chicken, do you want to put it in the oven or you want to fry it? Do you like it fried? I fry it, yeah, I fry it. Then. You like it fried? Yeah. So put, oh yeah, let's fry that one. Start frying your chicken now. Yeah, right, I'm doing that, yeah. Have you fried it? Yeah. Okay. The oil you use in frying it, Yeah. put your tomato paste inside. This, the tomato paste, this one. Okay. Paste, not the... One is that is better with scotch bonnet now. Tomato paste. Right, okay. Yep, I got that uh, somewhere. So put it. Fry, 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 fry. Yeah, I'll put it down somewhere. <laughs> it's up the hole is not too much. If it's much, please reduce it because we are still going to add our butter. <laughs> so that it, it doesn't look too messy. Right. You can reduce your oil. You can always add later. Yeah, I'm fine. You come to your house. <laughs> no problem. You are invited. 
Yeah. It's smelling good. It is. Ah, it, is. It, is. It, it smells brilliant. The order at the end. It's better than here. It's all right. I can taste it. I almost taste it. I can smell it. Looks okay. so good. Joe, where are you now? I've added my washed rice in in my sauce now. I just found this tomato. It's in the store. You can find it in Haldi. Well, this one is um like I bought this one in an Asian shop. Like I said, they have more. I can go to an Asian shop and then I will cook my food comfortably. But if you just go to the Asian store, tell them you want tomato paste. They have in the big the big ones, they have small ones. It's also you can find it in Aldi Azda. chicken that you boil you add it into the, your rice yeah because we are cooking vegetarian well, rice put it, put it straight into the rice or just on its own your stock have you turned it off yeah i'm doing stock now make it stock yes add it into the okay you you, you have the recipe with you am i right add your stock into the sauce of the scotch bonnet because if because they're not a vegetarian you can use it for both but let's Prepare it as a vegetarian rice. Scotch bonnet, um, the chicken water, let's go into jollof rice. So, put it on the video on it. Don't add water yet. Don't forget our rice differs, so we need to be careful. Don't add water yet, allow it to cook. Let it cook. We'll control the water because we don't want it also to be so, uh, too soft. A lot of washing up as well, though, I noticed. But there you are, you're washing up as you go along. Yes, I love to clean as I go along. Good on you. Yes. I've got a big pile at the end of my cooking. That's always no, a no. I remember when I was in secondary school, when, when they teach us Omicron, they tell us, wash as you cook. It, it shows your professionalism in cooking. So, with that in mind. So, Joe, where are, where are we? We're yeah, waiting for Joe. <laughs> Getting confused. I'm old age, man. Oh, no, no, don't be confused. You're fine. So what's, what's, what's cooking now? Uh, my veggies. My, my vegetables. Yes. Uh, Did you have what up to your vegetables? Rice and the chicken's cooked. No, no, no. Joe, did you have what up to your vegetables? Yeah. No, I said don't cook your vegetables. I said season it and leave it. See my vegetables. Oh, See? sorry. You're not supposed to cook it. Don't cook it, please. Okay. Remove the water. Yeah. If you remove the water from it, sieve it out. Okay. We want, yeah. want a dry, yes. We are going to stir fries. Oh, I understand. She's got bay leaves in it as well, isn't she? Can see. Yes, I've got my bay leaf in it. So we're going to stir fries this, this. Because this rice needs to last for days. It's a rice that lasts for days. So we we we'll look for ways of making it to be more better. In those days, they will just input everything you need to know. Now we're going to add our oil in a frying pan like this. Bola, yeah. put oil in a frying pan for the fried rice. Your oil in a frying pan. Little oil because you're still going to add butter too. Your spring onion and your white onion. If you are not a vegetarian like me, if you have shrimps, browns, you can add it to it. You can fry it and add it to it. Or you don't over overcook, okay, over stir fry it. Is your rice 
in your scotch bonnet pepper. Yeah, they're ready. Okay, that's cooking. So put and your chicken is ready. Am I right? Yeah, chicken's ready. Miss Cut, my rice is ready, and my uh, chili, uh, my chili is ready. Yeah. The rice with the green sauce, the green pepper also is ready. Am I right? Yes. Yes. You know we are cooking two type of rice. Now yeah. your your okay your onion. <laughs> add your onion. Get your frying pan like mine. See, add your onion. Okay. Get your your remaining spring onion and. If you don't have spring onion, no problem. If you blend it, it's no problem. Okay. Add a little spring onion and and normal onion and let's try. Okay, so. What? Uh, one. What did you say? I said spring onions. How many should we use? You can use like three. Or two, depending on the quantity you are cooking. Don't forget you add it on onion does uh, you don't get excess of onion. That's what I discovered. You don't have too much onion in your food. So fry the golden brown. Take your take your rice. Take your jollof rice from time to time. It doesn't get burnt. Fry, 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 fry your onion. I see that all because I can't see it from where I'm at. Ah, uh, you can't see. Move it down. That's great. That's better. Oh. Okay. Do you do it in onion rings? Yeah, I can see it now. It's good to use, it's good to use a wooden spoon. Because I'm using my wooden spoon already. So you fry the onion. This time you can have your baby here now. I purposely put it so I don't forget. You can have it. Let it start. Or you can even add it to your rice while you're boiling it. I have some in my rice already, and yeah, I have some. So. Don't forget, we are seasoning this. The, 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 we are seasoning this mixed veg already. Okay. So we are going to add add it to it and stir fry. All right. This will make your food last longer yes, because you're frying it it's not going to mix rice and rice get spoiled easily especially when you cook it during its period during summer it gets it gets spoiled easily but when you when you fry it like this everything comes out perfectly well that i tend to boil my carrots and peas and you fry them huh I tend to boil carrots and peas and things like that, and you fried them. No, you don't need to boil it because you still want to see. You want to taste that crunchiness. You don't want it to be too soft. Okay. It must not be too soft. It must not be hard, and it must be cool. So you you add your butter to it now. I talk about quantity, the people you are cooking for determine the quantity you use. You can also add your butter now to your to your to your rice. You take your rice of fresh because it doesn't get burned. Yeah, then put it like that. Okay, yeah. Probably on a low heat, is that? Yeah, this one is on a low heat, but this one is still on the high heat. Okay. The oil and the water that. will do So are you say some of it's going to be eaten tomorrow? Huh? Yeah. Are you, are you eating some of this tomorrow? Or are you eating all of this today? No, it, we can still have it by Tuesday. You still have it fresh in your fridge. Yeah, I thought because it's a lot of food there. Yeah, I have two boys and they eat, they are they are growing. Okay. And they've not had breakfast. They're still sleeping. So. Good, good, good. No. You can see the you can see the. 
greasy part, the drip coming out. Joe, are you okay? I think so. Yeah, doing okay. Okay, good. So you can season it again now. Fine, well done. Yes, good. Hope you remember to season it. You know, we don't have any seasoning in our rice because we've seasoned this. We only have our Maggi and Sorry, yeah. and Thai. We've not added any salt. Okay. But we want the salt in this and the seasoning to complement the rice. Okay. I'm going to put a pepper in, man. Is that all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's what you want. The green pepper, the, yes, you can have the red pepper, yes. You can have the red pepper. I'm going to be using a yellow one. Don't forget that. Okay. I almost, thank you. I almost forgot. Like I said, the shape matters. I don't want a long pepper, so I'm going to be doing this. The mix is interesting. I don't normally do yellow pepper with carrots, and it's uh, you put it all together. What do you say? I don't normally. It, I, do yellow. I run out of red pepper. That's why I'm using yet. yellow pepper. You're supposed to put red pepper. Okay. I tend not to do those two together, and it's good that you're doing that. It's great. It's fine. To me, it looks beautiful. You can test your salt. Now, make sure we're going to fry until there is no juice. We want to see the oil, the butter, the margarine you've added. Okay, and you put butter too? Yes, add butter, please. Add your butter now. You can add it now. You can add it when you have your rice in. But me, I like adding it now because it will have gone into it. And don't forget your rice too. You are going to add your butter. The jollof rice. Now, are you putting your rice in with your, with your peppers? Huh? You putting your rice in with your uh, uh, red pepper? Is there rice in there? No, no, no. You put your red pepper in the mixed veg. Okay. And cook. You know the rice is already cooked already. Yeah. So you want to fry this one. You want to stir fry the vegetable. That's up now, Joe. Yeah, it's uh, doing okay. I'm, I'm, I'm frying up the vegetables. Yes. Uh, I'm waiting, waiting to uh, for further instruction. Really, I'm fine right. at the moment. Check your salt. Check your seasoning. Don't forget, we are all cooking different quantities, so I cannot say put this quantity so that you don't overcook. Fried rice. Uh, 
Are we frying it in a pan? Or we just... Huh? The fried rice? No? Yes. What, are we frying it later? Yes, we are going to fry it with the vegetable. So, but we need to fry it. You know the carrot has... Yeah, um, it's time to cook, food. yeah. We want it to dry up before you had the rice. Don't okay. forget, our rice already cooked. It's already cooked, well seasoned. So... We want the, the, the vegetable to fry now. Okay. Well, we'll So it's almost ready now. Yeah. It's almost ready now. Yes, it's almost ready. The fried rice is almost ready. Your vegetable and stir fries everything together because I'm using a big pot. I have much rice, my rice is much, so I'm doing this. Joe, you need to transfer your rice in your vegetable after frying, okay? Then you stir fry everything together, okay? On a medium, it's now all right. Forget our rice was not was half done, so the heat and the frying will do everything. Okay. You cannot take your salt and see if your seasoning is in the right proportion. For me now, I don't need to cook anything rice this new week we are entering because. My kids have enough to eat. You need to stir. This time you don't leave it so that it doesn't get burnt. You stir. Okay, I'm stir frying. Look 
like your rice. It's not too oily. No. It's not sticky. Everything is just at the right proportion. Notice your rice is not that shiny, you can hardly put butter like I did. Yes, yeah, you to give me this beautiful shining look. It taste. You're tasting good. Yes, oh. tasting very good. Bowl or two, is it stage, tasting good for you? I need to reduce my heat. You is said what, well, Tom? Is it tasting good for you too? Yeah, I see. <laughs> At this point, I need to reduce my heat and cover it with a clean fuel or your parchment baking paper or parchment paper. You reduce the heat to a low because you want it down to steam. Why this is frying? Our, our fried rice is ready. Wow, it's yummy. Yeah. It is and, this is very, very yummy. And stand for <laughs> one week. Can you see Grace? You say, you oh, look. Look. Can you see Grace? Tell us. Hello, Grace. Good to see you. Hello, Grace. It's Mrs. Christmas with you, it's true, with that hat on. Yeah. The next time we do this, because we are going to do this again, maybe in a month or so's time, I'll make sure I do it with my laptop and join in. Okay. So, okay. and we'll have more joining in next time. Yeah, I can show you that. We'll discuss that. It's fantastic that you've done this. Both well, of fried you. rice is ready. Joe as well. African style cook now, you are. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can see how Nigerian shelf. rice is. Joe is Nigerian shelf now. <laughs> so our fried rice is ready. Turn off your mine is, mine is not ready yet because my rice is still. Okay, no worry. Mine is ready. I know you know what you are doing, so no problem. Well, this is the proof of the. You say what? We say the proof of the puddings and the eating. So let's see if you can taste it. See what it's like. Okay. This is the thing about what's it taste like? Does it taste good? Come on. Sometimes, when I don't want to eat rice, I'll just stir fry my vegetable like this, ah. and I'll pour. I'll just steam my couscous, and I'll pour it into it. So mm. how does it taste? Huh? It tastes. I'm asking Joe. How how does it taste? Yeah. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. You got a winner there. Well done. Can we see the finishing touch? I think he's virtually finished now. Isn't my, it? Don't okay, because see. I wanted to check the picture. That's why I'm asking. If I can see Joe's zone, then I take the picture. Okay, can you take my? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a picture. Okay. Yeah, fine. I've taken it. So let's check our jollof rice. Now the jollof rice just need eat, eat, so steam, and it's ready. You can see the the juice, the reddish. Wow. This is a very rich jollof rice I made. Mm. I want to be a little bit dry. When Tom cooks this, I don't think the kitchen will be so tidy. <laughs> well, I like his spirits, at least he did it. He was able to do it, so that's not the, the, the go behind it. This, um, this, this, 
you do different to me. You cook the chicken one way and the veg the other way, and I normally mix the two. And that's and that's something I'm going to learn from when I look at the recipe. You can't find. What do we do oh, with this one? Wow! Wow! Eh? That's your jollof rice, Joe. Yeah. Then what do I do with that? Oh, that's your love rice. Oh, beautiful! Well Just one second. Beautiful. Well done. <laughs> So what do we do with it now? Eat. Eat it. All right. Time to eat. Give me a taste of it, please. Come on. Yeah, so well done. Can I share a bit too? Ready? Yeah, my fried rice is ready. What about your jollof rice? Yeah. So in a in in my country, when you cook this dish, you serve it together. Normally, cook the most of the time party time. This is our party food. When you go to an African party, a Nigerian party, there must be jollof rice or fried rice or both. When next you go to any African party, ask for it. But my jollof rice is ready. Do you want to snap? Okay, I can just bring it up. Please. Have a seat. Are you okay? You have seen it. I'm done. Okay. You have seen it. I'm taking it now. Thank you. So I still want it to steam. It's not spicy. It's not supposed to be spicy. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Good. Good. I'm, I'm not sure which one I like the most. <laughs> wow. Yeah. One second. Can I just order? Yeah. Beautiful. Good. Wow. What does it taste like? Mm. One second. Not too soft. Well seasoned. And you see this green golden color that makes it more attractive. Mostly like for children that doesn't want to eat when they see it sometimes they eat. And the love price is so rich, so rich and oh, so spicy. Oh, can I see you? Can I, all I can see is your, your lower half of your body. Can I see your face? Oh, can sorry. You? If I don't do that, you're not seeing. Sorry. Oh, I know. It's good to see. <laughs> That's great. Well done. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I will join in the next time when we do this. Yes, you're welcome. What do you reckon, Joe? Are you going African style now? Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> I'm going to do this dish again, definitely. And it's not difficult. If when you're used to it, you're used to it. Yeah. Mm. That's fantastic. Come to my house. Food brings people together, especially if yeah. we can taste a bit. So I'll join in next. Okay. Okay. Time. Thank you. I really, I really enjoyed that. Oh, that's so fantastic. thank you very much. It was very, very, <laughs> really nice seeing uh, something different. And we, and we, all of you, we're going to do this more. We have a little think how we can do it better. From the publicity, I've got to sort that out, and the technology will sort it out. But we're going to do it again, and we're yeah. going to do it bigger and better. And we've got to think about that. So it's great that you've done it. Ola and Bola and Joe especially. It's fantastic. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. Enjoy your lunch. I had, to disappear. <laughs> I had to disappear and start cooking it myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's, I think that's the idea. I think next time, uh, yeah.